So here we are, we just escaped the sewer of Don Corio's mansion and we've reached our way to the ghost train yard where well there's a few items here, not too many. It's just a transition point really. Nothing too difficult. So save your games you want, equip, reconfigure, whatever you want to do. Jump up top, get the materi. You can either go across actually and get that potion from up top, but you need to walk through it anyway, so you might as well go down. Ah, yes. And this is me forgetting to edit out my battles. But since I started recording, I'm just gonna let it finish now. <laughs> I'm too lazy and yeah, this is how you fight these ghosts actually. <laughs> Might be good advice for some of you people. Basically what the ghosts do is they uh, disappear when you use any action on them, I believe. Even steal maybe, and uh, you just gotta wait like one turn, and they'll they'll uh, pop back up. So climb around, jump on the ladder, move up a little bit, down the ladder again, over the small little ramp there in the train, up north through the train, back through the ramp, get the potion. You want to hop in this first train right here, and I'll basically push and make a path for you to return back to Sector 7. I'm a pretty ballsy Final Fantasy player, you could say. I don't really um, heal much or... I like to conserve as much as possible and fight my way through. Because if you make it past up as party, your whole party gets restored anyways, right? So why waste the uh, items? Anyways, hop in the train, push the train forward, go backwards. Um, it's better to start the train right now because you gotta go up anyways, right? So... I'm sure I'm gonna get another battle here before I freaking get out of the zone. Or did I? I can't remember. Ha! <laughs> Home free! So now the fun starts. The pillar. Epic. It was epic 15 years ago and it's still epic today. <laughs> no way! <laughs> you remembered my name. I can speak after a twenty-story fall. Ugh. <laughs> 
That man would be a flat, flat pancake from that ball. Good old Square Enix. Or wait. No, was it? Squaresoft. Holy shit. Yeah, Squaresoft. There's no one's a Square Enix back then. I miss those days. <laughs> so, I you guys. Um, Ares will be escorting Malina out of 7th Heaven to her house during this time. That's where she is. You run up. I make a habit of uh, talking to each and every one of the members just because it's the last time you will. I don't know. I'm a sentimental kind of gamer. I like to um, get the value of everything really, you know? These guys are not too hard, but at the same time right now I'm not really too high leveled. I usually grind a lot, and like, grinding is just easier, so when you get to where you're, you're supposed to be, it's a breeze. Anyways, you ascend the stairs, you go through one, two, two transition points. One, and the second one up there. Um, the next boss is Reno. The only thing you gotta worry about with Reno is his pyramid attack, which will basically stop one of your characters. It's basically like the spell stop, except you have to hit him with either... I think, I think it has to be physical with this one here, actually. So just physically hit it off, and then uh, continue to hit him for a bit. And he'll go down quick, and then you hop on the crane and you fly. Yeah, fly. I guess you could say fly your way out of the sector before you get flattened. And remember to equip Barrett. Because he won't have anything on him since, yeah, you've been away from him for so long, I guess. Ah, uh, too late. Once I push his button, shoot my nanny fools. I'm gonna tackle them. Easy fight. It's a generally good idea to pre-charge your limits before the fights, so when you start off you can just nail them. That was the pyramid I was talking about right there. I had uh, Tifa knock off with Barret. It's 56 damage, not that much. What I'm doing like... What? 42, 50, so it'll probably be like 130. Unless that player does a 80. Yeah, so. 190. Yeah, just juggle back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, <laughs> back and forth forever. <laughs> and, um, he'll be like, yo. It's time, G. Time to split. 
like a banana. And then he goes off, the plate goes boom. And then we go on to our next part of the tutorial. on the way out, jump off the edge, flies up in a helicopter. That's right. The moment any fool tries to touch it, it will deaden itself. And only Shinra executive can have the... Yeah, what he said. At this point, I think it would be better just to keep shooting. <laughs> it's not like Arius actually does anything besides heal and die. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> so just position yourself over by here. I actually don't think you even have to do. Well, yeah, you do. Bear up and like, oh my god, what the? F oh, we'll just jump on this. I'll just unhook it. Da -da 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 -da. And we'll swing the fuck up. Ass to face. Fight club. I think those people were on top, on the outside. And this is on the bottom. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Oh. Looking at that makes me just get sick. Like, visually. Like, I feel like I'm falling. Well, okay, next part is, uh. I can't remember, but something good. <laughs> I already have it done, too, so I'll just. Yeah. Alright, you go to the Shinra building, top. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Red X, soon to be with you. Thanks.